update. We've been waiting for it. So here it is. First of all, we got our front hall closet opened up. Looking good. We did the whole front hall. This is just primed, ready. We rebuilt this whole wall in case this, there's more lights to come. This is New York City. That's not moving. And look who it is. The team themselves. Hello, Jeff. Hey. Welcome back. The, Your fireplace a cleaned out, like probably inch and a quarter ready to go. The wire cleaned up all around this pipe in the entry. That's just going to be white. Got to keep that New York soul in these places, you know? We just got our Gen Air fridges installed. Ooh. Ooh, the soft clothes. Didn't hear anything. So we partnered with Forum Kitchens to do all our kitchen cabinetries. These are all in. We're just slowly getting everything around them before we take the protective layers off. Okay, so this are waterfall down the marble. So one slab, the countertop's all one slab. Okay. Miter cut, waterfall down. So yeah. the marble will flow up. Okay. Same veining, extending over. I mean, cap this side with marble as there, well. There's enough marble? Yeah. Wow. And then, Great. Instead of the instead of brackets to hold this from having any flex, yeah. we're gonna put a piece of marble as a T. Yeah, perfect. Right in the middle to the down, floor. And we'll, we'll measure that. That'd today. be beautiful. It doesn't go right to the edge. No, it comes like I mean, four inches out or something. Yeah, we'll, yeah. No, no, no. It's pushed further that way. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of flex. No, yeah. no, 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 no. So where? Let me push this down to you. All right. So if we do twelve inches. So the marble underneath. Yeah, so there, and then you have like a six inch. 12 inch. Yeah. So you still have a 12 inch, and it's just one yeah. panel. It's fine. It's, it's 12 inches yeah. in, so you can still move the knees. Yeah, I like that. Perfect. Always branding. How good do these look? Amazing. Amazing. So this is pit cooking, which is probably the thing I'm most excited about in the kitchen because it'll give the most personality. I mean, all together, it's amazing, but these are individual burners right in the stone. Controls need to be cut, but then how do we protect the marble? So it's the next step. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to connect you with, um, there's there's two companies now that do the anti-etch. There's, on a standard application, like here, it's a 50-year warranty. Wow. No, no standing, no etch. It's $100 a square foot. About 50 years. And they, so it'll, Will I be here for 50 years? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's winning. <laughs> and I just can't wait to see this thing gets book matched. Up there, so this whole black wave moment. Whew. Did we figure this thing out? Yeah, yeah. It's all done? Yeah, I gotta rebuild cool. the cabinet. Did you try the lighting yet or no? Yeah, I don't know where the switch is. It's this tiny little square. It's like inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. And you just like touch it? Yeah, or can we wire it into something? No, it's it's a touch, it's a touch sensitive thing and it has two colors. Hmm. The form is this new, more affordable kitchen company. We'll link to it down here. But they've just been branded like the Warby Parker kitchens. They've cut out their supply middleman, so they have no retail brick and mortar store, so they have to lower the pricing a lot, make it more affordable, and still really high quality, full wood cabinetry, not particle board like Ikea or something. It's like real well done, soft clothes, all sorts of inserts in the drawers and functionality. I'm excited to see it done. Got the prep sink on the island, then we got a dish sink over here on the other side with the dishwasher and floating shelves and then we're we have to custom some shelving in here to make it so it all flows easily this kitchen is coming together i'm really excited this is our new fireplace i'm setting this up so that under this mirror which the pet previous owner left for us how much does this thing weigh that's 1600 pounds 1600 pounds just that piece <laughs> Some like castle, small place called Versailles perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> we got our fireplace in the hearth from Ancient Surfaces, which is a really cool company. They just stock all these old fireplaces. We looked through 350 plus different ones online and this is the one we chose, which is like a very regal old but modern twist. 
fireplace. Really excited about it. So yeah, we have to set that on a hearth. Then we have to bolt it into the brick, set it, glue it with like expansion glue so it holds there permanently. Then we're gonna lower that mirror three inches on just so a small shadow line floats on top so it appears it's there and then remount the mirror. We have no idea how heavy that mirror even weighs because it's been stuck on that wall since the lady left, but it's not light. But it's probably not 1,600 pounds, like just that piece. Luckily, this place is built on steel beams under the floor. And as you can see, the little steel nubs here and the beams which we've covered. We also need to run ducting behind there. So this is a big part of our apartment. Everyone always asks, are you getting rid of the bookshelves? Of course not. This was owned by the rare book curator of Strand Books. Some people keep sending me the documentary of the rare book curator. I forget what it's called, but this bookshelf was featured in it. Um, so pretty cool heritage to it. And obviously we're not changing it at all. Not only is it probably crazy expensive to build, it's also just beautiful. The previous owner left that mirror as well in between which we're going to build the little banquette like a velvet banquette in the middle reading nook but we're going to have it repainted in piano gloss white i'm really excited about that we just put on instagram yesterday i did looking for a painter who could do high gloss finishes in new york i think we found a guy who's really excited about it so you might be seeing him soon we're meeting him on friday but this is going to be stunning high gloss piano white with the brass details Ooh. If this, if you're building right, like this, this is... No, a massive upgrade which just got finished last night is our new terrazzo dining table floor. Really excited about this. We worked with a company called Concrete Collaborative and we just grouted it yesterday. No, they had to work a while to get it level. Obviously everything in New York is old. This was not level at all. They got it pretty much dialed in, all sorts of dips. Now it's in good shape. It's looking really nice. It still needs a polish, sand and finish, and then it really pops. And you can see we put water piping in right here. This is going to be a wet bar. So we'll have our dining table right here, which is a beautiful B&B Italia marble table. I cannot wait for it to arrive. I can't wait to show you guys. And we'll have a beautiful bar right here which we're doing still in sparkling water on demand with a company called zip water more to come on that we're doing an ice maker and a fridge more to come on that from jenner and we just have to have a mill worker design and build this and enclose all of this hvac hvac which obviously is all our airflow but this is going to be a special piece to the build so because we want to put central air in we have to put this whole unit in which really messes with the edge of the bookshelf but it's just a necessity because we couldn't put all the air on this side we would have to put something here this one wall looks really good together also just what's below us and how the venting had to run it was the only option so we now have to box it in we got to insulate it with like egg carton insulation or any sound dampening. So it's right beside a dining table. You don't want to hear it too loudly. But it's the nuances of the New York City apartments. Yeah, so it's just like a, uh, a fine assortment. The rest can go in the cupboards, but this will just be like a really nice assortment. Yeah. The only thing that, that um, we should take into consideration is your coffee machine is gigantic, isn't it? It's oh, really yeah. really tall. So we, we wanted to have a coffee bar over here. So this is, this is going to be, we want to make sure that that machine here, All right, I'll, I'll map that mm -hmm. in. You know, and that, that there's enough height in here for some sort of. Got to get my DeLonghi on the coffee bar, you know, you for know, the morning, under the sunlight, out. reading the newspaper with a little pee. It's the dream. We have our windows, which are stunning. These are our friends at OJ Steel, custom built these windows, made them really beautiful. All the hardware, all the brass screws. Everything very smooth. These are going to be amazing. As you can see right now, there's a gym across the way. So we're going to tint these one-way tints. No one will be able to see in, but we can see out. So all you people who are thinking, where's the privacy? First of all, it's New York City. That's part of the charm of this place. It's having weird people that look in your place, neighbors, everything. But we got neighbors. We got lots of them, but we're going to do our best 
tint this thing, but they do really nice tint now where it doesn't look like it obstructs the light at all on the inside. So that would be a big part of what we do. But right now, it looks pretty incredible. One thing we did was this rounded detail here, which carries all around each window. And then we're putting a stone piece in the bottom so you can walk in and out. But we need, this is our fire exit door. We need to figure out how to do it, but we're thinking I'm gonna round the corners in on this as well, figure out how that door looks. So many tiny details to round this place out. And we're into 64 days till we move in, so the heat is on these guys to push and finish this place. So another cool part of this is all these ceilings are barrel vaulted. I don't know if you can see, but they all have what they call barrel vaulted. So these had stucco on them before, so Charlie, took all the stucco off, which is not an easy task. And we're just gonna leave them raw because there's so much character to them. And then we're gonna seal them with a clear coat because they drip dust all day because it's very soft, old concrete from the 1800s. So we're gonna seal them. You won't notice there's a seal on, it's a matte sealer. And then on each rib right here, these are the ribs on each. You can see there's wiring for each. This is one mocked up panel right now so there's a bit of an overhang right here you can see and then we're putting an LED strip on a 45 degree angle facing up so each side will provide light that meets in the middle and each of these will glow and those are on a dimmer so we can lower and raise and have this perfect kind of museum style glow along each barrel that's gonna be special and then hanging from the middle right in the center in the mirror will be floss lighting coordinates lights, which are beautiful. In the corner where those guys are working right now, we're gonna have a glass noctambule from floss, which is like this barreled glass situation, unbelievable. And all our switches are gonna be by Forbes and Lomax, which are beautiful old school brass twist on, off. And we're even going to, on this one plate right here, which controls a lot of it, each room will be engraved on the brass plate. That's some old school regalness right there. You've been following, you've also seen the staircase, which is Hannah's big moment. She really wanted it. We had to have them bring it out four more inches because the stairs didn't meet correctly with here, but now it all works really well. We just started to sand the top to make it round and usable, and that will go down, join in the floor, and then it'll meet, and another piece will start rounding out of there for the lower level stairs so that's gonna be really cool but let me show you upstairs into the primary suite we have all this denison flooring which is herringbone under there you can't see it right now it's obviously all protected because we're working we'll walk up here you know we have Kohler everywhere in this house we did down hampton's house we did it here everyone's wondering how, what we're gonna do here so this beam lines up perfectly with this mezzanine so we'll have a steel encased glass wall right here that opens in the middle. So you have airflow. Our bed will be on this wall, looking over the entire living space. So it's very important that that's aesthetically incredible. Now what are we gonna do in our bedroom? We'll have a door here that opens, steel encased door with the lighting. You can see they've cut it into the wall. We'll obviously have the barrel vaulted lighting over our ceiling. Then two other lights, there's three, two bedside lights three pot lights over there this will be its own kind of art moment and then this back wall i'm really excited about we're gonna do upholstery panels of like suede or velvet gray three foot panels all along so we don't really have a headboard we just have a complete wall that is the headboard which will be really cool really excited about that really low profile bed here in the corner over there keep it easy bedroom i like to keep smaller you only just go to your room to go to bed. You don't spend a lot of time in there. You just sit down, stand up. So the more space you have, it's just always more mess and whatever to create. So it's better that we add the space into the bath and the closet. Walk through into the bath. And we have a shower here, separate water closet here. Shower will be his and hers. There's also a countersunk LED light back there for light. Glass fronts, big tub vanity medicine cabinets we just quickly mapped this out so that this line those are wrong 
but on the starting in the shower, it's, it's beautiful. Kohler. These are Kohler shower controls. In the shower, there's only gonna be one button. Just turn it on and you rotate the, the uh, temperature on top. New, brand new technology from Kohler. It's crazy, you got the push button flush. But you don't even have to flush these smart tots, they flush themselves. And then a little LED lit nook, just for a little candle. And then we put this arch in. It's another one of Hannah's ideas. Put a beautiful arch here, and that goes into the closet. So that's the closet space. Should be our primary closet, but it's not even really good to show you that because it doesn't give you any idea. So I'm gonna attach this video that Ornair, the company we're working with to do the closets, such an incredible company, the closet's gonna be next level. Here's a video they put together of the rendering of the space to give you a better idea. Lastly, I'm gonna show you the lower level, which there's not much to update here. It's been all framed in. There's all sorts of room separated. The only thing that's been done down here, and these guys gotta get cranking down here, a whole team start next week just to knock it out but this is a big project and this is the other atrium which looks up between all the buildings so the windows are out over here from the dining room and they'll look down into this lower atrium it's going to be really cool but this steel work all this concrete work around the side to firm it up this is really old concrete so they have to rebuild it almost you can see all these very legit hieroglyphics slash drawings about how to build it. And then <clears throat> we're putting airflow into here and there'll be steel encased glass doors right here. Boom, boom, that look in here. So this will be its own contained area with the ventilation system because it'll get hot in here from the sun. But there's water in here. We can have some plants, get some fresh oxygen down here in the lower level. So that is the tour, guys. Soon we're gonna have a big sofa here. We're gonna have another 80 plus inch screen, media, entertainment zone, all more Denison wood flooring. That's all the flooring there, which is gonna get laid. It's gonna be beautiful into some bedrooms, some bathrooms, storage, you name it. Anyway, the project is coming along. We still got a lot more to go. We're spending Christmas here. Mark my words, just hope it's done. But that is the plan. I know you guys asked me for the home update, so that's it. We'll see you guys soon.